Okay, so people want me to talk about function one. Um, as a young man, um, I've always been really taken with, um, shall we say, the, the feeling and the mind-expanding possibilities of audio. So we're, we're very much focused on making the audio as clean and clear and pure as possible. Um, because if you're going to have really loud sound, it's got to be good. It's got to be nice and clean. And it, doing good audio is actually uh, quite hard. Um, you need to know a lot of things. And this is why we're really pleased to have found Phoenix Audio. Um, they have a history with us. The older company that we had, um, they're familiar with it and uh, they get what we're doing. So we're really, really very happy to be working with Phoenix Audio because the guys there have got a good skill with, with, with audio and you ne we need that so as to get the best out, out of the equipment. Um, been doing this nearly 50 years now and um, the reason we're still doing it is because it keeps on evolving. Uh, the better we make it, the more it takes us further. And this year, for instance, we've, uh, we've been experimenting with a uh, 32-inch uh, horn-loaded bass. Uh, we've developed a whole new way of doing bass that um, it's kind of... We made the product, and then the product starts telling us what it needs. And uh, that's all I can say, really. We're, um, we're just following what, what feels best. I don't like holding the mic. <laughs> Hand is shaking. <laughs> um, I don't know what, what else could we say. Um, I suppose function one is about bringing good audio to the people. Um, I've spent most of my time uh, at the front of house position or in with the crowd. You know, I'm not so interested in what happens on the stage. I'm much more interested in the... So, yeah, man, I can't stop my hand shaking. You got a mic stand? <laughs> right, I'm going to join in with this and just say, Tony's talking about the, um, the equipment and he's going to talk to you about Vero, which is our latest system in a minute. But what I'd like to say about Phoenix is not only are they great from a, a technical point of view, but they've got the infrastructure, they've got the support, they've got the great sales team, and that's very important for us as well to make sure that the product's going into safe hands, which it is, and uh, we're really pleased about that. So Tony's going to talk to you about our latest baby, if you like, which is Vero, which is a large format touring system. Over to you. I'll hold the mic for you, darling. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> um, yeah, so in the world generally, um, for the, since probably the early mid-90s, there's been uh, a move towards what they call line arrays. And we're quite famous for refusing to do one. And the reason we, we haven't done one is because actually they don't sound that good. And we only do good sound. And, um, but there is a convenience to a line array, which is probably why they're popular. I mean, we care about the delivery of the audio to the people, which is why we haven't done it. But equally, we, we need to think about the fact that, that people use line arrays because of their convenience and the ease of deployment. So um, about six years ago, it reached a stage where we really had to do something that was in a vertical format for just for the convenience factor. So uh, I came up with an idea whereby we could do a vertical array but still have, if you like, point source principles. And, uh, and, that's, and that's what Vero is. Uh, it's taken us about six years to get it where we think it's going to work. Uh, there's various patents. Um, it's been an education. Every time you push forward, you're going to learn some, something. It's never going to be easy. We, 
we don't play safe, we play progressive. And uh, if, if it's not pro progressive, then I'm going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> because I've already done enough, probably. Uh, um, so, so Vero is um, really high efficiency. We, um, we, get the louds, we get the drivers to behave correctly. We don't use um, electronics to um, correct for deficiencies in the frequency response. Um, that isn't really the way to do it. Uh, I guess because my history is so long, I can remember a time when EQ was only just been invented. And some of those principles of doing things correctly in the first place are, are still with me. And these, these ideas are in, are in Vero. Um, very, very good conversion. We can do 15, 20,000 people with um, maybe two or three amplifiers aside. And uh, every time we've used Vero, we don't have to use any, any delays because we've, well, I mean, I won't go into the, any of the, the simple complexity, if you like, but um, we found a way to do something completely new. And Vero is a step, is a step forward. Um, the, like I say, it's very, very efficient. And by that, I mean the amount of electrical power we, we need to, to get the acoustic output is not so much. And um, yeah, that's it really, that'll, that'll, that'll do. Okay. <laughs>